what you guys got another video here for you this is just a quick video about the intel scare that's going around at the moment about the management engine uh, for intel cpus and uh, intel are going to be releasing a critical firmware update and as you can see here this is it here intel dash sa dash zero zero eight six and uh, this is going to be released uh, very soon probably by about january the 9th and uh, it will fix a lot of bugs which are hardware related so this is not a software bug it's a hardware bug and these hardware bugs are very hard uh, to uh, patch and what's going to happen is with this patch being applied some cpus can see up to 35 percent or more uh, drop in performance now that's not to say that that's going to affect every uh, CPU generation that's only going to affect certain generations of CPU and at certain tasks that you're doing so I think there's a lot of people uh, that are posting videos out there that are trying to scare people but you can see here it does affect from the first gen right up to the eighth gen of uh, Intel core processors and uh, also you can see here there's a long list of other stuff that it affects is here like uh, Celeron G, N and J series and a lot of uh, processor G series it affects. Uh, so these vulnerabilities are nothing new. They've been around for about 10 years or more. And uh, so people are scaremongering people a little bit because this thing's been out there for a while. And uh, it's a pretty scary uh, thing to have uh, to find out. And I think this is going to affect Intel very badly. Uh, in performance and also um, in the long run I mean because obviously servers are going to be affected as well so let's see have a look here at the tool that you can run there's a tool that they've released Intel where it's a detection tool to see whether there is an actual uh, breach or if you're vulnerable and I've got this tool here uh, I've got it here on my system it comes down like this you can do the GUI interface uh, type 1 and all you need to do here is run this and it'll tell you whether your system is vulnerable and you can see this chip is uh, not vulnerable and I'm okay so I'll put all the links in the video description for you and you can run this and see whether you're vulnerable if you are vulnerable don't panic uh, they are going to be releasing a patch by about January uh, the 9th so that's going to be rolled out so don't panic about it okay now about the uh, performance drop uh, now this is also very skeptical at the moment because people don't know uh, the full uh, ins and outs of what's going to happen because Intel have put an embargo on everything and they're not releasing too much information so you can see here this one says the patch will be released by Tuesday and there's a lot of information on the internet I'll post all this information now this doesn't just affect Windows it affects Linux and also Mac OS and you can see there's lots of uh, diagrams and charts and information I'm not going to go through all that because uh, there's far too much to cover and it's far too complex uh, AMD at the moment seems to be uh, okay and it doesn't affect AMD processors like Ryzen and stuff like that which is good news for Ryzen and uh, you can see here uh, people have took a lot of effort and time into putting a lot of these benchmarks together and I will put all this in the video description so you can read up at your own leisure now they have got some uh, benchmarks here now apparently uh, it doesn't affect a lot of uh, gaming as you can see now I'm not going to say it's not going to affect every single uh, CPU this is probably done very um, modestly on one type of CPU or two and you can see you'd have to do that through all the CPUs to get a full uh, blown uh, benchmarks for all those. You can see this was using the i7-8700 using an AMD RX Vega 64. So that's only one CPU and uh, apparently it's only affected by about two frames per second or one and a half frames per second in some cases. Uh, so it's very limited sort of benchmarks and that's because the information has only just been leaked. So also here you can see some other leakage here uh, which someone has done and this was done on a Linux operating system. Uh, you can see here as well some of these benchmarks that uh, i7 8700K is pretty bad uh, if you ask me and that's on a Linux operating system. Uh, that's really nasty drop there as you can see and uh, that's I'm not sure how many percent that is but it's a lot but you can see this is a pre and post uh, patch so this was before the patch you're getting lovely uh, performances here and then all of a sudden you're down to 65 from 116 
which is a pretty bad drop but don't panic because when you start coming down and you start looking at other tests you'll see that it doesn't affect all of the tests as you can see the compile bench and uh, there's some other ones here uh, x264 which is your h.264 video encoding it didn't affect any of those uh, hardly at all maybe just one little millisecond there or two uh, as you can see here so it's not that bad so and this is just one chip uh, uh well this is two chips actually uh, but this is just two chips so you're going to have to test this over different platforms and find out what is affected and what's not so give it time and this is also on linux it may affect macs a lot more it may affect uh, windows we don't know yet until all that information has been released so I'll put all this information in the video description for you so you can read it at your own leisure. There's tons of them out there, tons of leak, uh, leaked links and stuff like that. They're all pretty much the same. So just I'll leave a few of them in there and you can uh, do your research on it and uh, read up about it. Okay, And I'll put the two Intel links in there for you so you can read up about it on there as well. And that's pretty much it. So don't panic, guys. This has been around for about 10 years. Someone has released it. Whether it's been uh, leaked by someone, I'm not so sure whether Intel has uh, done this uh, for a reason. I don't know what reason, but Intel has known about this for a very long time. Uh, I think it's going to affect them pretty badly, uh, especially because there's a lot of people that have got a lot of CPUs uh, that are older than uh, some of the 80, uh, 8700s and stuff like that. So it, we'll have to wait and see, and we'll find out how bad this affects uh, some uh, performances but 35 percent performance drop that's pretty big and if it's across the board which i don't think it is going to be i think it's going to be sort of uh, certain processes are going to be affected more than others but we'll just have to wait and see so don't worry too much don't be watching too many videos and listening to people saying oh 35 percent performance drop no one knows yet until they've released it over a lot of chips and a lot of uh, different setups and uh, with and without the patch for Windows as well. Some of those are done on Linux. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, you can go to my main YouTube channel here, click on the red subscribe button, and also what's really important is hit that bell notification button, and this will notify you when I upload new videos.